hello, hello, welcome back, welcome to. If you're new, my name is Abrea Perry and welcome to my channel. So today we are doing my summer try on haul. I have a shopping problem, particularly in the summer. In the fall, I absolutely love fall shopping and I love summer shopping. They're like my two favorite seasons to buy clothes during. So I have gone a little wonky. This is actually not even everything. Some of the things that I wanted to show you guys have not come in yet because I ordered them online. So this is mostly just the stuff that I have purchased in store. Um, I'm actually going on vacation with my family. So some of these things are vacationing and I have a whole bunch of bathing suits. Um, and then some of them are just like general things for the summer that I decided to pick up because I thought they were cute. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of the fun. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let's get in. This super cute yellow romper that I picked up from Fashion Nova. It is adorable. It has super duper flowy sleeves and then the bottom is flowy. It almost looks like a little dress. And then it has a opening right here. So, um, you know, it shows a little bit of skin up there. And it is off the shoulder. Really, really cute. It is called the Camellia Off Shoulder Romper. And I got it in yellow. I believe it also comes in red as well. I got this in a size medium. Um, but kind of looking back on it, I think that I probably could have done a small. Um, when I went to try to replace it with a small, they were sold out. So I just hung on to my medium um, because I really, really liked it. And it's flowy, so it's not super obvious that it's a little bit too big. It's more just obvious to me because I'm wearing it. Um, but yeah, if you're about my size, I think that you could probably get away with a small in this rather than a medium. Next up, I have something that is also a bit flowy. Um, it is by Free People. It is a black kind of like dress. I don't know if it's a dress or a shirt. I'm going to wear it as a dress um, because it's long enough on me to wear as a dress. And it's super cute because it is um, kind of like symmetrical. So the detailing on the front and the detailing on the back are the same exact thing. Um, so it kind of doesn't matter if you wear it backwards or forward. <laughs> it's always going to be the same. So yeah, this is from Free People 1. And I got this in a large because I wanted it to be kind of um, like more open. And I wanted the sleeves to kind of hang down so I can wear a cute bralette with it. And you can see that detailing. And then it also has really cute detailing um, in the front that shows like... A little bit of skin and whatnot I also have a dress here it is a long maxi dress it is absolutely beautiful it has really pretty um, embroidery on it and it is linen this is also specifically for vacation um, I don't think I would necessarily wear this on like an everyday basis but I think it'll be really really cute on the beach because we are going on a tropical vacation so it is pretty long this dress is from Zara and it is this really 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 cute like vacation tropical print it has like palm trees on it and like little people so it's super duper cute and then it goes off the shoulder and it has a really cute like little corset I also got this in a large because Zara tends to cut their things rather small um, so I wanted to make sure that I gave myself enough space little dress from forever 21 which is like crochet and it is adorable I love it so vacation -y. I'm probably gonna wear this as a cover-up at some point or I'll put it on with like a little pair of shorts and a bandeau under it and I think it's gonna be really cute and um, keep me super duper cool so excited about that so I got this pair of shorts they are black and they have cute little distressing on them they are by Levi they are the Levi 501 and I actually got these in a 30 waist but they are kind of big on me um, I am usually like a 28 
or like even like a 26 um, or like a 27 depending on um, how the brand like cuts their stuff but I got these in a 30 because they were the only ones that they had and they were a good price so I wanted to get them I didn't want to just leave them behind so I got them and yeah they're a little big but I'm gonna wear them anyway and you know sometimes when you wear denim shorts with um, bathing suits and stuff anyway you leave them unbuttoned so um, they were gonna be kind of like saggy either way so they fit my bum in like my thighs but they're just um, a little bit too big in my waist because I have a pretty small waist um, compared to the rest of my body so love them I also got another pair of shorts which are just a basic pair of denim shorts and in all honesty these are the first pair of denim shorts that I have bought since probably sixth grade like I am just not a denim per denim shorts person I'm not really a shorts person um, like I said earlier and the last pair of shorts that I probably got my mom bought for me so I got these as well they are by free people and they are the harbor free people shorts and these are free people but I think I got them from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or maybe I didn't I don't know I definitely got one pair of these shorts from Marshalls or TJ Maxx <laughs> but I've been shopping so much and I've been doing them like in such stretched out periods that some of this stuff I can't even remember what I picked up <laughs> so I really like these shorts and I also got these in a 30 um I remember these also being like they didn't have any smaller sizes and I didn't want to leave them behind so I got them anyway and I mean eventually I'll probably get the waist taken in um so that's fine and sometimes I like to get things like this a little bit bigger anyway so that they fit my thighs like I have like kind of muscular like athletic thighs from like running when I grow up when I was growing up um so that's just kind of how they've stayed so it's easier for me to get my shorts a little bit bigger so they fit me everywhere else and then just get my waist taken in so that's usually what I do with pants so I also have a couple pairs of shirts or excuse me a couple shirts and they're actually both navy I think I like it um but this is just a cute little top it's just kind of like um life beater material and then it has these little um, tassels that hang down that like scrunch up the shirt which is really cute and I thought this would just be cute to go with like either pair of those shorts um, over like my bathing suit or whatever and I also got this shirt from J. Crew. I got this shirt in a size 12 so that it would fit my bust area um, J. Crew also cuts their things pretty small it's super duper cute it's like one shoulder and has a little bow here I thought this would be really cute to wear with a pair of white jeans um or like something along those lines and a cute little pair of heels if I'm going out to dinner with my family or something like that I don't think I'm gonna bring this on vacation but um I just thought it was a really cute summer piece so now we can go on to bathing suits um, I have quite a few bathing suits here. I haven't bought bathing suits in a couple years, so I decided to just pick up some new ones um, for this trip, and I really, really like all of them. I um, did not try on the bathing suits like I did the other things in um, this video because I just didn't really feel like that was necessary, <laughs> so I did not try on my bathing suits. But I feel like you guys will definitely get the picture by just looking at them. So uh, let's get into it. So this first one that I have is super cute. It's like a crop top, off the shoulder crop top bathing suit. And it is by Sam Edelman. It is adorable. It has all these different blues in it. And then it also has kind of like a sparkle detail print or leaf print with like little flowers. And then obviously it has bottoms to match um, and it is just a little tie up bottom they're super duper cute and I'm excited to wear these and I bought these in a large they were uh, this whole set was $40 next I have a, another little kind of crop top style bathing suit and this is by Vince Camuto 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 um, I really, really like his stuff. I've gotten a couple things 
um, from him over the years, whether it be shoes or like little bags. And um, I have really liked all of them. So this is white and then it has a cute little like coral detail running through it and little tassels which I think are going to be adorable and white always looks really really nice when um, you get tan so I'm excited to wear this I'll probably wear this in like the middle of the week on vacation and then it has these cute little um, like back details on the back of it I got a blue bathing suit which is strapless and these are the bottoms the print is really really pretty um it has like kind of like stripe tech things on the front and then polka dots on the back list like i said and then it has like a halter neck that you can put on it and i'm probably going to wear it this way really really like this this is by lucky brand swimwear um black bathing suit and i probably i'm starting to think that i probably should have tried this one on because it's a little hard to understand um by just holding it up but i'm gonna try to do my best obviously all of these i will have pictures of on my instagram so make sure that you're following me on instagram um my name is at i am brie perry it is in the description box as well um so that you can see all of the videos um and pictures and stories as I am on vacation so I got this it's black it's kind of like a halter top and then the top just has like all these different colors on it there's like blue and like it's like a teal and a white and a black and a yellow um Scott excuse me an orange um so it's really nice and then the bottoms have these cute little like copper stone type things on them so really really like this and I'm excited I have another black bikini which is really cute and it has um, some like embroidered flowers on it which is really really nice um, like multicolored flowers and then the back does a cool little <laughs> I definitely think I should have tried these on for you guys but I just felt like that was so kind of like weird to just, I don't know. I was a little uncomfortable. Got a little shy, you feel me? So I was going to try this on for you guys, but I think I should have. But again, like I said, I'm definitely going to take pictures on all of these. So you'll see them on eventually. So this is black as well, and it is by Laundry. Bathing suits are either from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, um, by the way. So if I can find them on like the regular designer sites, I will link them below. Um, and if not, I will try to find something similar for you guys. If I can't find something similar, um, I probably just won't post it. Because I hate when you try to find something similar and it's not really similar. Like it's like similar, but it's not what you wanted. Like you know what I mean? It's not close enough to be like a dupe. So if I can't find anything similar, then I just won't link them. Um... But I'll keep checking and like try to update my description box accordingly. And lastly, I have a one piece. It is red and then it has little yellow tassels on it, which I think is really cute. It's kind of more of like a burnt orange, but it's showing up pretty red on camera. And the back is a scoop, so it is all out. And then the side has little string up details on it. And I think this is going to be very, very cute. It's going to give me the most awkward tan line. But that's okay because it's going to be cute to take pictures in. And I also got a pair of lace cover up pants. Which are going to be really cute with either one of those black, um, either one of those black bathing suits. And this is by the brand Blue Island. I have a couple pairs of accessories and then we are out of here. So I also love shoes. Like, I have a shoe problem. A big, big shoe problem. So I picked up two pairs of little sandals from Target. And this was actually my first time getting sandals from Target. But they were having like a little sale. Um, on sandals one day when I was in there just getting like other things that I needed so I decided to get these and they're just like little slip on um, like faux suede sandals I think these are gonna be really really nice for vacation because they were like pretty cheap 
um, and I always like to have little sandals like this when I go on trips um, because if they get messed up or like the water hits them and they kind of get ruined I'm not like super upset about them it because it wasn't expensive um, so these are just really nice little kick around sandals very trendy and I have a pair of Franco Sarto platforms that I really really like um, these are probably gonna be like my it's like every summer I purchase like a really good pair of sandals um, that can kind of like go with different things uh, so I picked up these this year. I got them from Nordstrom's online. I have not seen them in the store, um, but I'm pretty sure they're still in stock, so I will definitely link them. And they also have them in white, black, and like a really nice lizard print that I wanted, but they were like kind of impractical. So they look like this, and they are flat form espadrilles. So they have the espadrille bottom, and they have a cute little black detail here. And they are silver in the front and have this little piece at the top that um, keeps the shoe obviously attached to your foot. I got mine in a size 8. I usually wear between a 7 and a 7.5. And but these, I was told like online that they ran a little bit small. Um, so basically I went up to a 7.5 because they ran a little small. And then whenever I buy open toe sandals like this um, that are a little high, I like to go up another size so that my feet have space in the front and the back. So I went ahead and got an 8 in these and they fit perfectly. I have a little bit of space but I'm able to kind of fix that by this um, strap. So uh, that brings me to the end of this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss any of my vacation pics. Until next time, thank you for your support. Talk to you later.